it's Sherry from A Quilting Life and I'm here today to share my Sugar Pine Stars quilt that I've recently made with our Favorite Things fabric collection. This is actually an older pattern of mine, but I did completely update and revise the pattern. It's now in a booklet format and I'm just really happy with all of the improvements that I've made and some things are the same and I actually did add something new to the pattern that wasn't in it before. And we'll talk about that and I'll just show you all of the particulars about this quilt and this pattern. Okay, so as I mentioned, Sugar Pine Stars is actually a quilt pattern that I did a few years ago with the Fig Tree collection. Well, actually it was all Fig Tree scraps from a variety of different collections. And I always wanted to redo the pattern in one of my own fabric collections. And so when we had the chance to do this Favorite Things group, I immediately knew that I was going to remake this pattern with this collection. And the original quilt did not have the tree block. And, but as I was sewing, I just, you know, I used all the different greens for the kind of the chain that goes through the quilt. Uh, but I just thought, you know what? I just wanna make one tree. And so I stopped and I made the tree block and I ended up putting it pretty much in the center of the quilt and went ahead and did everything else the same as I had done on the original pattern for the rest of the blocks, but really, really happy that I added this tree block. And if, if you really like the tree block and you wanna make more trees and fewer stars, you will be able to do that. You, you could make three trees instead of one or you know, make all trees. You might have to adjust your fabrics if you if you start making a, a lot of trees and maybe only one star, for example, you'd have to adjust the fabric requirements if you did that. But uh, I was really excited that I didn't have to change my fabric requirements because I had enough greens left over from these chain blocks to make my tree block. So this quilt finishes, this is a large quilt at 75 and a half inches by 89 inches. And the border, the outer border, I'll pull that up and show you in a couple minutes or in just a minute, really isn't that big. So it would really be easy to make this quilt even just a little bit bigger. So it's great for a twin size bed. I think with just a little bit bigger of a border, it would be perfect for a full or even a queen size bed. So really, really love how this turned out. I would say this is a beginner friendly quilt and I use the simple folded corners mini ruler to do all these tree blocks. And I did use my block lock for the flying geese units on the stars. Now this pattern also includes a lap quilt that finishes at 48 and a half inches by 62 inches. And in the pattern, you'll see that that quilt just has six star blocks, and six of the chain blocks. But it's a really nice size if you need a gift, a, a lap quilt, and it's just pictured with the stars, but again, you could add a tree in the middle if you wanted for good measure if you were making it for Christmas. Just a couple notes about the sashing. I use this favorite low volume print of ours for the sashing. Love how it just kind of added a little bit of sparkle all the way through. I did the red stripes for my sashing posts. And then you'll notice also that while I use the tone on tone print for the background of all of the chain blocks, I varied the backgrounds for the stars and the tree. So we have a lot of great low volume prints in this collection. So I was able, to, for example, to use the little green leaves with the red berries for the background for the tree, but then the daisies with the green leaves for this one. And even some of the busier florals I used and polka dots 
I use for the background of this one and stripes for that one. So you can see that I used all of the, these different low volume uh, prints that we have in the collection. In fact, I'll pull them up and show you. Okay, so actually, this is the range of low volume prints that we have with this collection. It's such a nice assortment. And I did use every single one of these prints for a background in the star blocks other than this plaid on the bottom. I pr probably thought it might have been a little bit too busy, but I did. I used the polka dots and the stripes, the daisies, the leaves, this one, the tone on tone and the floral. So just a lot of options to, because the stars are big and simple, you can really have a lot of fun with your background choices. And you could even mix and match. You could even have a really light colored star and a darker background and you could just play around with those in here. Uh, the pattern, pattern is written for fat quarters. So you need at least 10 fat quarters that are red for the stars and then at least five green fat quarters for the chain blocks and for one tree block. And then all the other yardages and information are included on the pattern. Okay, I did wanna just show you the inner border, outer border, binding and backing really quick as well too. As I mentioned earlier, I did use this low volume kind of multi-floral print on white for the sashing and I also used it for the inner border. I, I just love, love, love this print. And then I used the, the larger green floral for this outer border. And as I mentioned earlier too, this border really isn't that big. So if you wanted this quilt just a touch bigger for a, a, you know, to really give you good coverage on a full size or a queen mattress, you could just either add another border on the outside of this or make this one bigger if you're, if you're just making it a little bit bigger. But just a couple of options because this is a, a fairly large quilt pattern. And then I use the plaid for the binding. This is just straight cut. This isn't on the bias, but that would be fun to do also. And then again, use this for my backing. Uh, just love these florals that we have in this collection. Okay, and this quilt, as you'll notice, also has an all over quilting pattern. And Marion Bott did this one, and she always has a lot of fun picking a pattern for my quilts, depending on how it's set and how, to, how it's laid out and the blocks. And I just really love this one. It just alternates between two kind of orange peel flower designs and then a circle with orange peels, you know, set around the outside of the circle. So I just love how kind of the same elements are in the two different designs, but yet they alternate throughout the quilt and just really, really happy with this quilting pattern. Okay, and that's it for the Sugar Pine Stars quilt pattern. And as I mentioned, there are actually two versions included in the pattern. There's a smaller lap size quilt along with the bigger quilt that I showed you today. And if you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.